So may I ask why the fuck I'm out of my bed at 3 a.m. taking Johnny's trash to a field? You know, we got in the fucking back here. You know what this fucking prick did? No, he said <laughs> you know, uh, You know, Frankie D, he went over to the Cherry Lounge last Thursday night. Am I going the right way, Gio? Please to continue on straight road, drive 17 minutes, arrive at field, stop car, take body out of truck. All right, Jesus. Thank you. So anyway, he's over at the Cherry Lounge. And it's, uh, you know, getting to that time. He's had a couple of drinks, had a couple of laughs with the guys, right? And uh, he's looking for a broad to take home. So he looks around at the, the available options. He finds none other than Johnny's little sister. Fat Becky? Fat fucking No Becky. shit. Fat Becky. Ed Gio, you like Fat Becky? Yes, very much. Anyhow, he takes Fat Becky home and, you know, say what you want about big girls, but this broad's got a fucking ass on her like none other. I mean, she is working him all night. The old brush is getting a real nice treat. That is book. What book? What are you fuck, talking what about? What book you fucking talking about? Burden Alley, American History, Harper's Publishers, 1997, pages 254. What the fuck you read American History for? Citizenship test. Yeah. I know where your fucking book is. Yeah, read this shit. It's my fucking Puerto Rican girlfriends. So he wakes up in the morning, and you know, he's, uh, had a long night. And he's looking for her. She's nowhere in sight. He thinks maybe she's in the shower. Done here in the shower. He thinks maybe she, uh, you know, is in the kitchen cooking. Done here anything. Maybe she went out to, you know, get uh, some Dunkin' Donuts or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ass anyway. So, uh, she's nowhere in sight. He wakes up and he realizes he's got terrible, terrible gas. Oh. And, you know, you don't want to be cutting any farts when you're with the lady, so. Sir, Gio knows that. Ain't that right, Gio? Yes. All right, anyways. He figures she's not around. He can just let one loose. So he does. That's what he fucking does. He lets out three marginally sized turds right onto her silk no sheet. Way. I no, he shits the bed. <laughs> <laughs> fucking disgusting. You believe this, Gio, eh? That ain't the half of it. So he's sitting in the bed thinking, oh my god, what did I just do? And he's trying to regroup, right? So he throws the sheets off, gets up in the bed, hops off the bed, all of a sudden he hears a wee wee! Like a little squeaky toy, right? He's thinking, oh shit, what the hell was that? He lifts up the sheets. You know that little dog she's got? Holy shit, a, a, El Chippo? El Chippo. Oh my god. For a little chihuahua. No way. Snapped its fucking neck. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> so he's got a bed full of shit. Oh my A god. dead dog and a heart attack going on right write that up, Sammy. <laughs> and that's why he's in the back of the trunk. Yeah, I don't blame him. I'd kill this fucking guy if he did that to my sister. But there's just one other thing. What's that? Frankie D is my fucking cousin. So pull this fucking car over right now! Oh, fuck, you say Shut the ever. fuck up! You put the gun away! You put the gun away! Shut the fuck up right now! You pull over! Up there, take the next right. Sammy. I am fucking calm. Calm as a um, fucking cucumber. Jesus Christ, Sammy. How long you know me? You taking me out? I'm not taking you out. I'm taking you down. Now open the fucking trunk. <coughs> Don't worry, Frankie. I'm here. Get the fucking thing open. The hell are you doing in my trunk? The fuck is that? Oh, there's Bull. Not in the face. Hey, Johnny. Yeah, we took care of Sammy. Frankie? <laughs> no, we just let him sweat it out in some poor kid's trunk. Don't worry, we'll pick him up later. <laughs>